Coming up next, you thought CES was big. Wait until you see what Sony just announced. We'll give you the inside scoop on some new gadgets. Signal by Sony starts right now. Hey guys, Samia here. Thanks for watching Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. And as usual, we got the exclusive hookup on some fresh new gear. Anthony is standing by with a member of the Sony team to show us what we got. Thanks, Samia. I am excited to be here with Mark from the Sony Digital Imaging team. Welcome back, sir. Hi, Anthony. It's great to be back. You have brought a couple cameras here, and these are, are some pretty common options for people who are looking to buy a digital camera. You've got your compact interchangeable lens system camera, mm -hmm. and then you've got your straight up compact camera. Obviously, for some time, we've had digital SLRs with interchangeable lenses, big image sensors, mm -hmm. but they've been very large and, uh, you know, a lot of weight. You typically carry a camera bag with you with lenses and things like that. So the industry developed compact system cameras about a year or two ago. And here's an example of one right now. Interchangeable lenses, relatively large image sensor, but still not quite the same size as what you find in a digital SLR, but a lot bigger than what you'd find in a very slim and small camera like this. Right. So what we're here today to talk about is a new camera that we just developed, the Cybershot RX100. And what we've done is we've been able to successfully combine the size of a very compact go-anywhere camera like this okay. with the performance that you would get in a large image sensor camera. So just like a camera like this, we've put in a one-inch image sensor, which is actually four times the image sensor area of a camera like this. Okay, so that helps you do things like get uh, shallow depth of field. Great low light performance, okay. another example of what, what a camera like this can do. It's actually the very first time that a camera this small has had that size image sensor. But on top of the image sensor, which delivers the spectacular image quality, particularly in low light, we also built in a compact retractable Carl Zeiss lens with an incredibly bright f1.8 aperture. This wide aperture lens works together with the image sensor to deliver the image quality that you get out of a much larger camera. Of course, it has all of the features that you'd expect in a much larger camera. Aperture priority, shutter priority, full manual exposure control for those photo enthusiasts. It also has very powerful automatic exposure control, which can automatically not only recognize scenes, but okay. can even improve the composition of your photos with auto portrait framing, where it can actually use the face detection to develop a better composed portrait. On top of that, it has very, very powerful video features. It can shoot full HD, 1920 by 1080 video at 60 progressive. Wow. Very few cameras can do that. Uh, and all in a very, very compact go anywhere format. We focused on making this not a system camera. It's a fixed lens camera. It's not a, a, a camera that you would take the lenses off and change because its priority is compact size. So where does the RX100 fit in terms of price in between these compact cameras and then the interchangeable lens cameras? Well, pretty much sort of in between. The, uh, what we call the premium compact camera segment, this can be up to five or $600 typically. Mm -hmm. uh, compact system cameras, these can be up to $800 or so. We're going to position the RX100 at 650, about 650, and this will be in stores in the second half of July. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for bringing it by, Mark. Well, thanks for having me, Anthony. Great Absolutely. to see you. Absolutely. Samia, back to you. Okay, as usual, you can visit the Sony website for all the details you need. But in the meantime, the product launches just keep on coming. And with that, we have one more first look for you. Let's go back to Anthony, who's standing by with yet another Sony team member to give us the goods. Anthony. Thanks again, Samia. Here I am again, this time with Dave from the Sony VAIO team. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. And you have brought an entirely new line of VAIOs with you. I have. This um, is awesome. This is stuff we're going to get all across the board. We will. We'll get it all across the board. Let's talk about multi-gesture control. So think about it using your Jedi mind tricks. You can wave your hand to actually control your PC mm -hmm. to track forward audio tracks, for example. Um, you can pause them as well. You can even turn the volume up just by moving your hand like this. Some other really cool features that are in there as well is one that's called Rapid Wake. Okay. So Rapid Wake for us is everyone has that pain of trying to, you know, turn the PC on, turn it off, you know, uh, I have to wake, go get my coffee, you know, the, yeah. those pain points, right? So what we've done is we're able to actually put the system into sleep mode. That's our default now. Mm -hmm. And within two seconds, it'll quickly resume back into uh, the way you had the PC when you left. 
And the really cool factor is, if you forgot to plug it in, you've got 10 days before the battery will go out on the system. And the last really cool feature is Vegas. Okay, oh, wow. Vegas is an award-winning software application from Sony. It's been around for many, many years. We include that in there as well. Tell me about this guy here on the end first. Okay, so that one on the end there, this is our E-Series product. Um, wow. It's available in an 11-inch, 14-inch, and 15-inch. The this one you have here- very different looking than the E-Series, I remember. Much, much different looking than the E-Series. And one of the key elements there is what we call this wrap design. So as you can see here, it basically looks like it's a bunch of pieces of paper folding on top of each other. And the comfort design is also built for it. So so if you take it on your shoulder and you're walking away or wherever you're going to go, it's nice and comfortable to have in your hand. It reminds me of the S tablet a little bit like that. Exactly. That was kind of the uh, ambition when they, when they designed this to have a similarity look in it. Cool. So tell me about kind of the uh, kind of the specs on this one and who this one is for. Okay. So this is our, our traditional everyday user. In the 11 inch model, it has an AMD processor in there. Okay. Um, when we move up into the 14 and 15 inch category, you use second and third generation Intel processors. From a configuration of you know RAM and hard drives you go anywhere from 500 gigs all the way up to 750 okay. RAM goes up to 8 gigs um, there is even on our CTO configuration you can get discrete graphics of AMD oh, nice. uh, configuration in there if, is, if you want very cool. There's a lot of cool new things happening with the E. Why don't we move on to our next model here. Tell me about this. Okay. This is our S series. Um, two major changes to the S series really was we incorporated an optical disk drive, a slot load. Okay. And then we created this large touchpad here really to give that customer the same experience as they would as, think about when they have a, uh, a smartphone or if they've got a tablet okay. and they're able to pinch and zoom and rotate. This gives them that same experience that they would have. And that's Very available cool. in all of our products as well. So this is the 13-inch model, and we do have a 15-inch model as okay. well. Some of the specifications that are, you know, kind of make what this thing is all about is um, these are third-generation Intel CPUs in here. Then when you get to the 15-inch model, the really big, uh, you know, multimedia experience type machine for us, standard configuration is a full HD panel, and it's an IPS panel. So you're going to get really, oh, wow. you know, nice color, good viewing angles, you know, a lot of the things that people look for when they they want to look at a multi-monitor type of display. Awesome. So moving on to our next guy here. This guy is awesome. I love this finish on yeah. this. Yeah. Everybody out there's heard of Ultrabooks? Mm -hmm. There you go. It's the Sony's. Oh. So this is our T13. A lot of Ultrabooks usually kind of skimp on the ports. You get like a That's USB correct. and like maybe you get an SD card. That so, is correct. So yeah, so what are we looking at on here? So port-wise, you got a, you know, a full gamut of it. You've got the Ethernet port, the VGA, you have the HDMI in, and then you've got the media card reader. And those are really the essentials there. Mm -hmm. and if you flip that sucker over, you're going to get two USB ports. And one of the things with the USB port, one's a USB 3.0. Obviously, we all know what that means. It's yeah. 10 times faster transfer rate. And then you've got the USB 2.0. But on the USB 3.0 port, we've also incorporated a uh, mobile device charging system. Oh, nice. You like open up your carry-on and you've got like 90 different <laughs> chargers for 90 different things. Exactly. This is now my outlet. If I don't need to turn that on, I can plug my phone onto there with it turned off, not plugged in. It'll charge my mobile phone, no problem. So who, what is this final one and who is this for? Oh, uh, that's the beauty right there. This is actually a carbon fiber uh, chassis all the way around uh, including the insides and that's why it's so light and that's the whole strength of uh, carbon fiber is the lightness and then the durability of the product itself and with this product category this is our Z series this is our flagship oh, okay product. this is the new Z this is the anniversary edition you have in your hands here so it's a uh, Vios 15th anniversary uh, so we're, Congratulations. We're, we're, you know, we're very happy with that. One of the really cool things that we also incorporated on here is the actual engraving on the system oh, yeah. itself here. The specs, this is really awesome. Believe it or not, this has a full HD panel in the system. Okay. Uh, so that's really one of the really cool factors in something this thin. On top of that, we threw in a quad core configuration here. There's actually an external docking option for this. It's called oh. a power media dock. Okay. And that power media dock is an optical disk drive, a docking station, and a discrete GPU card all in one. And what that card can do is it can actually support up to three external monitors all on one device. This is like, like the super villain laptop. Y y exactly. That is awesome. So this is some very exciting stuff that's happening in the Vio notebook line. But you also brought an all-in-one with you. Uh, this is my baby. Yeah? <laughs> so we try to take all the goodness that Sony makes in multiple product categories. Okay. Uh, and we've actually tried to take those and we've 
throwing them inside this box here. We took the X-Reality chip that powers and drives the color saturation and the color imagery from Bravia, and we put it into okay. here. Okay, that was one element. We took the, the CMOS sensor from our digital imaging cameras. So those nice photographs of those cameras, that our cyber shots pull out and the alphas and those guys, we built it into the system here as well. Okay. We took the audio that comes from our home theater group. We threw it in here as well. So we got S-Force, we have S-Master, it's a one-bit digital amplifier we've incorporated inside here. We built a subwoofer on the bottom of this thing. Oh, for real? So the sound is like rumbling when you're playing this thing and that's the idea behind it. That's not going through Windows Media Center it's or anything. Not going this through is like Windows a Media. TV TV. This is a Bravia TV. It even has a Bravia remote control that comes with it. There's an NUX menu that looks just like what you would see on the Bravia TV. So okay. it functions the exact same way. The last piece of this thing mm -hmm. is the HD PC side. So this is a 24 inch full touch panel system. And what that has is it actually called a 10 point capacitive touch. That means I can use all these 10 fingers that I have and I can start to use the PC in a way that a tablet or a smartphone had, right? Gotcha. That's the idea behind this. So it's kind of the next step of where touch is going. So, you know, one of the things that we wanted to do in this product here is we wanted to be able to control the system more, you know, try to start to eliminate the usage of keyboard and mouse. Mm -hmm. And let's go into touch. Very cool. Yeah. So tell me about the uh, the specs on this guy. So the specs on here, general specifications, it's a full HD panel, that's just a standard configuration. Mm -hmm. It has a TV tuner, uh, it's a standard configuration as well. Um, beyond that, you're looking at you know third generation CPUs all the way up to, from Intel, all the way up from uh, up to a quad core configuration. Okay. RAM configurations go all the way up to 16 gigs if wow. you really want to get crazy. You do actually have um, one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte drive options. You also have a solid state option if you are looking for something a little bit lighter. I'm okay. not sure. But uh, there is that available. Or the, or the, uh, or the speed. The speed could the be speed a big good factor. Bit. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, this is wall mountable, so it does have the ability to oh, cool. detach the base from it. That just uses a standard HDTV mount? Yeah, absolutely. It's already cool. integrated. The mount's already integrated to the back of it, so it's just a matter of getting the Visa mount, connecting it, and you're ready to go on there. Awesome. Um, and the last really cool factor uh, that we really think is something that's kind of taking us to the next level, so this is going to be actually Sony's first glassless 3D product. Oh, I neat. said it, glassless 3D <laughs> products. Um, so Vios can actually be that first one to have it, and, and we're really excited. Again, it's part of that integration of the Sony United products there. Um, so we're really excited to bring that technology. So when you're laying in bed using your all-in-one, you don't have to keep 3D glasses under your pillow. That's right. And um, <laughs> and believe it or not, you know the glassless 3D term. Remember, think about yeah. all those scenarios I talked about with the TV, the PC, and the monitor side. Mm -hmm. So you want to play PlayStation in 3D? Bam. Want to do? Stuff in the PC in 3D, watch a Blu-ray movie, whatever, there you go. TV, same thing. If you have HD uh, TV channels that support the, the 3D signal, there you go. So this is a lot of exciting stuff going on in the VIO line. When are we going to be able to get our hands on it? And let's talk a little bit about price point across the board. Okay, well, they're going to available today, so that's the great news. So stop by your Sony store and go pick them up. Well, awesome, Dave. Thank you so much for bringing this stuff by. <laughs> You're welcome. Samia, back to you. Great stuff, Anthony. Now, that about does it for this edition of Signal by Sony, but if you want to watch more of our videos, just head to youtube.com slash signal or sony.com slash signal. Oh, and don't forget to download the free Signal by Sony app for iPhone or Android to watch us on the go. This is Samia. I'll see you next time.